Welcome to the One Life, One You podcast. Probably in the last maybe week or two, I've had a few people tell me that they've lost a significant amount of weight in probably the last two to three months. I'm talking uh, one is like 15, 16 pounds, one is in the 20s, one it's probably you know, closer to like 25 pounds in probably the last three, maybe four months. That's such a huge amount of weight to be lost in really a short amount of time if you're looking long term. And they all, I worked with each of those either directly or indirectly. And they all thanked me for the weight loss. And it's, it's not me. It's, you know, I, I may provide a guideline or I may provide a tool to help with it, but it's you that have to make the choices day in and day out. It's you that have to do, that has to do the work every single day. I'm just here maybe monitoring, maybe providing guidelines for a workout or uh, checking in to make sure they're eating okay. But that's all I'm doing on my end. I'm kind of just providing kind of a blueprint or a guideline to help you out. But those people are the ones that should take the full amount of credit because they're doing the work. You know, they're, they're the ones working out three, four, five times a week. They're the ones who are making healthier choices versus three, four, five months ago that they're making healthier choices now because it's momentum. Once you start seeing, especially if you have a weight loss goal, it's momentum in terms of as you step on a scale and the number starts going down, maybe you step on a scale every week, every two weeks, and the number starts going down, that's positive reinforcement that what you're doing is working, you need to be doing more of it. And it's consistency, week to week, day to day, making better choices and not dwelling on when you don't make healthy choices. You know, if you're, if you choose not to work out one day over the course of three months, one day out of 90, it's very minimum. If you eat something unhealthy one day out of 90, it's very minimum that you just got to enjoy it, move on, make your next meal healthy, make sure you're moving your body the next day and doing the work, losing 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds in a three month time frame is huge. And it's, and probably the one thing I'm probably most proud about, it's not even the weight because that's their own personal goal. Mine, my most proud moment was in me asking them, okay, if you're the one guy, he's, I think, two pounds from being under 200 pounds, and he goes, I haven't been under 200 pounds in years. My question was, all right, you're a week away from being under 200 pounds, basically, if you stay on the same time frame. What happens next? Are you done? Because that's the big thing, and that's where people fall into trouble, is they'll hit their weight loss goal and then what? But in working with him specifically, I asked, all right, you're a week away, maybe two weeks away from hitting that number that we've been talking about you hitting for a while. Now what? And the answer is simple, and the answer is simple of the other people too, is we keep working. You know, we keep working out, we keep eating healthy, there's no end, end, end goal for this. It's life. And that's, if you take anything away from what I'm saying in terms of the health and fitness videos and podcasts and whatever, is that eating healthy is a for life thing. Working out is a for life thing. Just being overall healthy is forever. I don't talk 10 day diets. I don't talk summer diets. I don't talk building up for the winter. 
if you're 30, you have 60 years to go, why are you worried about a three month or two month time frame? Worry about how you feel in five years or 10 years. So that's what I was most happy about in terms of these people losing double digit pounds is that they're not done. Maybe the weight loss may not be as dramatic or they may not see the weight loss as such a huge goal because they're already getting close to hitting it, but they all know that the work isn't over. And that's the main takeaway here is that the scale can tell you one number one day and tell you another number the next day. That doesn't, that shouldn't change how you go about living your healthy lifestyle. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to look more like a roller coaster versus an incline or decline. So you got to just stick to the game plan. Uh, the people that's lost the weight recently, they've all did it slightly different. I know one, she's tracking food and maybe counting calories a little more and hitting macros a little more. One is just monitoring and making sure he's making more healthy choices than unhealthy choices. One has completely changed their whole diet and going more plant-based and just focusing on moving their body 20, 30, 40 minutes at a time. So it's three different ways with the same result coming. And it's all coming down to just making better choices, moving your body more and with more intention, and just sticking to the game plan. There's no one right answer in terms of weight loss. You can do it tons of different ways. The simplest way is healthy foods, moving your body, getting sleep, drinking water. That's it. So shout out to those people. I'm, it's probably 10, 15, 20, it's probably closer to 50 pounds off a couple people. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. So shout out to you guys. Uh, keep going. If anything, I hope this motivates the next person to start or to continue or to keep pushing. That's all it's about. Day in, day out. Keep eating healthy. Keep moving your body. Keep being happy. One life, one you.